Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Carrie, and this is the Paper Paper Path, where we talk about all things papers, including planners, stickers, journaling, books, and more. If these are some of your favorite things, like they are mine, make sure to hit that red subscribe button down below and become part of our community. So today we are going to be setting up the rest of our budget pages in my financial planner for February. So we have these two pages. Well, we have lots of pages to set up. So the first thing we're going to be setting up is um, our spending tracker and our weekly check-in page. So the first thing I'm going to do is white out. Then I'm going to lay down our thick washi tape. So I'm going to use this thick washi tape here. have that in place I am going to use my pen I'm using this green emote fine 4.0 pen and I think to spice it up a little I'm going to use this purple pen to write my categories in our groceries no personal money gas and unbudgeted I'm trying to remember, there was another category that I wanted to, um, I'm going to add in restaurants as well, to a little cooking. So then we will put in our week two sticker. And then copy those. And I'm going to speed you up so you don't have to watch all of this. So I'm just going to use a... I have tons of these solid pink thin washies, so I'm just going to use one of these. So there is that page all set up. So now we're going to be setting up this other side, which is my spending page. So this tracker is just a glorified weekly check-in but it's for all of my categories and I don't track how much we have left budgeted for these these are mostly just to see where the money's going and to help me with the budget at the end of the month so we have home maintenance utilities supplies and furniture items malt also activities, allowance, clothing, personal care, gifts, car maintenance, like cleaning, medical, fun, business, school, subscriptions, bank fees, debt, travel, and then I skip a line and do groceries, say no, personal money, gas, and budgeted, and restaurants. So that is that page, and then at the top, gonna use my regular pen. This is of course the category and then week one, week two, week three, and week four. So that is those two pages all set up. Then we flip over the next two pages we have are our debt and savings tracker pages. So I'm going to use these two thick washi tapes and I realized I did not order as many thick washi tapes as I had um, intended to this month for some reason, so I'm going to be short, but I'll figure that out when we get to those pages. So that is that, and then I am missing my duck kit that matches. So I found my debt tracker one, so that goes over here. 
So we have complete and the beginning, beginning balance is 35.95.50. Then we have my Barnum, which has a balance of 10,671.73. Then we have my husband's cell phone, so that's Talia, and that's 12,346.64. Then we have NAV, and that balance is 13635 Then we have Robin's Corner, which is 17014 Then we have Santander, which is 68 Then we have Easy Bank, which is 115279 Wanna call Sun one twenty eight oh six three six nine and D and B which would be two three nine six nine twenty seven. So this is our debt, the current balance of our debt. So I'm just going to pop in the total sticker here. And then draw in my line. So our total balance is $531,389.57. Which, in case you missed my January budget with me, um, we managed to knock oh, down uh, $24,000 off of our debt. So that's pretty good. Um, if everything works out this month, and we get the snowmobile sold and my latest stimulus check clears the bank because it takes like six weeks so we've been waiting on it. The plan is to pay off complete so we should be able to pay off complete. Then Santander so we would be able to pay off complete minus 681430 minus my Klarna and almost 1500 corner short of my husband's corner so that would be really good and then we would only have talia nav and then the big loans so so yeah so our savings tracker we're gonna set that up next i just use so these are all of our savings accounts and i'm just gonna throw in some decorative washi to separate. So these are our savings account. These are our two kids savings account. And then these are our pension accounts. Beginning balance. Then plus minus. And then this would just be total. Just like that. And I'm just going to draw in my lines and then I just need to get my balances that are from last month. So our emergency fund ending balance last month was $20,582.10. My savings was $33.64. Robin saving zero, general is zero, and sinking funds is fifty two five five zero and twenty quarter. Our daughter's account is thousand, and our son's is at three fifty three, and then. 47.59 in this pension fund, 65, 917, 7, 4, 8, 8, and 0. And the total balance and savings was 152,683.94. Hmm. So that is our savings tracker for February. So the next page after that is our 
our transaction logs. So, so that is the first page and I'm not gonna set up every page. I'm just gonna set up the header pages. So I think last month I did three pages for me. One, two, three, yes. One, two, three. So the next page that I'm gonna set up is gonna be this one. Hey guys, so this is a clip that I'm going to end up adding on to the end of the video. I don't know what happened, but it stopped recording after I got you here and setting up my savings tracker. Um, I went ahead and set up my transaction logs. I have different transaction logs for each of the bank accounts. So this is my bank account, my husband's bank account, our bill paying account, our subscription account, and then the business account. And so I set all of those up. I did run out of thick washi, so I just use some of the thin washi and stack them up. So I know that's a different account. And then I lined each page with a thin washi just for fun. And I will go in and draw all of my lines in later as I use up the pages, then I'll transfer it to the next page and so on. So I don't know why the camera stopped recording, but it did, but yeah. So that is the end of my monthly budget set up. February is all set up. Once I start filling in back here, we'll flip back to January really quick. Um, and I start transferring stuff over to our weekly check-in and then I highlight what I have transferred over so that I know that I've already transferred it per se um, and recorded it and that's just how I do it. This color didn't really go with the month but it is what it is and um, yeah so that is all for my February monthly budget. I hope you like this video. I'm sorry that it cut out. If you do like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Bye.